Hi guys, welcome to a new Monsieur Toys review. Comment allez-vous? You know, guys, today I'm super excited. I know I always say that I'm super excited when I when I receive the new ever, but this one has so much history. You know why? Because 10 years ago, it was the first figure, the first ever ever figure I bought, and since then, boom, 10 years of collecting evers. This figure is the reissue of the Unit 1 of the Robert Spirits line. And you know how much I love If you were subscribed to my channel, I always talk about this figure. I even did the top 5 uh, best Evangelion Unit 1 figures. The number 2 of this list is actually my first love, my first ever ever. And I still love her like it was the first time. It's the Robert Spirit Damashi side ever. This is probably the best 6 inches PVC action figure you will get. This is not exactly a, a, a replica, it's a reissue, but it looks like it's taller and it's better. So we're gonna do a comparison with the two babies and uh, if you wait until the end you will see if I have some crazy romantic things happening with her. So that's a really good news that we have now a reissue for about $60. Great price, a lot of accessories, we will see that together. And I have another uh, great news for you guys. I have a partnership on this video with Unicorn.com. It's a waste site where you can buy awesome figures. And if you use the code Monsieur Toy Stand, you will get a 10% discount on all the website. Not only this figure, all the website. So that's my gift for you guys for being an awesome community. Let's start to review to undress this beauty and see if it's even better. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Woo! Let's do a quick turnaround of the packaging. Here it is. The Robot Spirit Side Ever Evangelion Test Type 1 268 is the number. Bandai Tamashination quality sticker here. Really nice pose of the Ever holding the, her progressive knife. On the top you have this black and white picture of the Ever running and on the bottom same thing holding the progressive knife. Here is what she looks like beautiful and the logo of the upcoming movie but I really doubt it will come out this year it's really tiny window box here you can almost see anything and inside you have this 80 field pallet rifle open mouse and the progressive knife now let's compare the two packaging here is the 2010 packaging though the first thing you can see is that they have the same height all right now the big difference is on the front of course the 2010 has this huge window box where you can see the figure and the accessories on the new one you can see nothing uh, official gain axe sticker here on this one only copyright lines and as you can see the 2010 box was much larger about two centimeters larger. Now, uh, the back, uh, not much to say, that the 80 field color was different and the accessories looked the same. All right, now let's hope it. Get off me baby, we can do it later. Here it is, the unit one reissue, wow. First thing guys, look how shiny it is. The color is a little bit different, the purple is a little bit lighter, all the colors, it's waves. And it has this great quality of plastic filling. Oh, articulated jaw, awesome. It wasn't the case on the first version. Look at the back, all really well designed and the paint job look amazing. I mean, really clear, really neat super super happy about it it's about 6.6 .6 inches a little bit less than 17 centimeters but let's do a quick comparison with the first version here it is i guess it's about one centimeters less or oh, the, the new version is taller 
uh, and it looks all stretch uh, of one centimeters everything is more thinner the silhouette is so awesome the, the eyes are different some some design are changed not much but a little bit for example on the back you have this red dot spot uh, for the umbilical cable plugs that you don't have on the new version all right so let's talk a little bit about the articulation point as i said it's taller it looks all stretched from the first version of course articulated feet the the ankles are articulated too uh double articulation points on the knees this uh, knee pad is articulated to look how bendable this thing is so awesome this figure is highly possible guys you can do basically whatever you want uh, to make some dynamic poses like for example i don't know a, f uh, a flying kick let's do a flying kick uh, a little bit like that boom here it is you can do amazing poses with it and the balance is awesome look at this uh double articulation points on the hips really really nice double articulation points on the body you can bend it all over on the back and this way ahead forth and back on the sides too look at that for the hands the wrist articulated the fingers are made with this soft plastic which is a great thing great articulation on the elbows and on the shoulders and you can easily do a 360 degrees with the shoulders talking about the shoulders this shoulder panel is a little bit different it's not st stuck to the same place you see here it's broken unfortunately and uh, here is on the, the tra trapezes but here is on the back of the the shoulders this little bowl here who goes inside this tiny hole the neck is super articulated you can move it all around oh sorry on the back unfortunately you can open the entry plug difference on the design of the chest let's see the difference with the other one you see on the new version is a little bit larger and here too on the stomach this latest toy technologies when it comes to uh, possibility this thing is really gorgeous um, we're gonna move on to the accessories a little bit less accessories than the first version but ever gonna call the spirit of the accessories and we're gonna see that together here are all the accessories let's start with the progressive knife with this knife silver painting here give me your money then the optional left shoulder parts with the progressive knife coming out of it this thing won't come out the pallet rifle five pairs of optional hands where's my gun karate chop yeah and grip yeah. Uh, is. then the umbilical cable with uh. real wire and the AT field with the stand uh. Come on. now let's move on to the conclusion what a beautiful reissue it's not even a beautiful new sculpt and reissue it's an upgraded unit one i think it's better than the first version guys i have to admit it it's taller the color is brighter i like it like this the paint job is really neat and super super well made of course it has less accessories but all you need is here we spend a beautiful time together with this ever and the last word i know i love you